today we're gonna be working on this attic. So excited. I've always wanted an organized attic. It's just never worked out, but this one's so much bigger and I actually come up here. So Chase already bought probably a few weeks ago because it was before I got sick, these shelves. So I wanna line shelves here, possibly here. We may have to get more later. I kind of went through this area before I got sick. You can tell I'm slowly switching over to black bins. So I want to like, here's all my Christmas stuff, fall. You can kind of see how it is, but I feel like we just keep stacking tubs on top of each other and then they're busting through because they're so heavy. I'm so sorry I'm winded. Ever since I've been sick, I just like cannot get it together. But basically we're gonna take this space and make it look so much nicer. Over here we did do a lot of clearing out. I just noticed there's more shelves right there. So we cleared a lot of this out. This stuff I'm not gonna really touch yet because it's extra supplies. Um, Especially with us just not living in our house. Like, we haven't even been here a year. I do not want to get rid of anything just in case we need it. This is all Christmas. Like, you see the Christmas down there? It actually starts here. Um, and these are all old picture frames I need to figure out what to do. This is, like, extra decor. Um, especially stuff I grab often. I want it, like, right here so I can just run up here and grab it. But we are going to tackle this space today. Now down here in the garage, I'm gonna tweak just a little bit. These are tubs I've already gone through that I've gotten rid of stuff, so those need to go to a donation. I am gonna tweak this just real fast because I feel like it just needs a little like zhuzhine, <laughs> but this is what we're putting up in the attic. So it's these shelves with black bins. Now I got bigger bins. These are like smaller ones for down here, but basically this is what we're gonna be making our attic look like. I wanted to create this video because you're gonna see how we organize like our garage setup here, our attic. So here in Oklahoma, we tend to have more attics. I know in other locations, you guys have basements, but I feel like you can do this anywhere. If it's like a storage unit, if it's your garage, if it's your basement, if it's your attic, if it's like a storage building or your barn, I feel like you can take this and incorporate it anywhere. So whatever you have, this is a way you can get it organized. But I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? If you're looking for products like this, I'm gonna go ahead and link it all down below in my description box. So if you're needing like the shelving or um, the different containers, I will say um, they have black and yellow ones at the Home Depot as well and they fit it um, well too. So I'll get all that linked up for you. Okay, this space looks so much better. We do need more paper products. We were gonna pick them up today while we were out, but we forgot. So I'll be getting more like um, toilet paper and paper towels, so that'll all be finished off. But you can just tell like everything we need, like overflow wise or like dog towels, bins. I could label these eventually, I haven't got there. We went ahead and put the ladder on top because it was always right here by the store. So I feel like that's looking so much better, but now we're gonna head up to the attic. So think about where you're gonna have the shelving. So we could assemble it down here and then carry it up, but it would be so much harder to maneuver it up the stairs. So we'd rather just go up the stairs, get it done, and then slide it into place. Um, also think about the timing with this. So we're not doing this on a super hot day. We're not doing this on a super cool day since there's no like air up in the attic. We wanted to make sure it was just a really pretty day outside and we did really well with that. But if we did this in like the middle of summer, it would be way too hot. If we did this in the middle of winter, it'd be way too cold so we just tried to make sure it was right so we weren't up there just like dying We 
do have paper blinds in here. I can link these for you. They're so affordable. So if you have like a window and a spot that you don't really see, like I have one of these in our garage. I have one up here in our attic. It's not something you wanna mess with all the time because you have to like clip it every time you wanna put it up or down. But in here, I never really open up the window. I'm doing it today just so we have more light and it just helps with filming, but it is nice to have. Um, plus it was just really cool to look out that window. It's a view we don't ever see. So this thing came up later and was like, we should open this more often. I honestly don't even think I've lowered it back down yet. Um, but if you're needing something like that, it is super, super affordable. I put them throughout our entire house when we first moved in just so we had a privacy until we could invest in curtains or blinds or whatever you need because that stuff's so pricey. So just keep that in mind if you're like renting or gonna be building or moving and you don't wanna just make that decision real quick or if it's not in your budget yet, you can just do cheap paper blinds and they don't look that bad. had a really good system so as he was putting them together I was organizing them so I wasn't waiting for him to finish like six shelves and then start so it's really nice to tag team it if you can um, also with this space it's full but I try to declutter often like every time I pull holiday stuff down I'm like if I'm really not gonna use this again I'm not gonna keep it so I've done some big declutters with this stuff but every year I do more so every year that I pull down Christmas I'm like okay I haven't used this in three years let's move on so I just try to be very aware of the things I'm using and not using, but if it's something traditional or classic that I could use again, I do want to hang on to it. One thing to keep in mind is if you're buying these shelving and you already have a tubs or you're buying tubs, make sure they're gonna fit. So two of my Christmas tubs are like oversized. They're really big. So they were too tall to put um, on the shelf. So just keep that in mind. You may have to switch some out. Some may work perfect. I did notice a few shelves were like wider than others. So it may not fit on the bottom, but it would fit like on the middle one. So just kind of keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, you want to put your heavier stuff at the bottom so it's not top heavy. So make sure like heavy books or stuff like that's at the bottom and then lighter things are at the top. A tip I've shared with you guys a lot is have like green and red tubs for Christmas and orange for fall and Halloween and you know, whatever it is, red for Valentine's day. I'm really struggling with that now because now I just want all black tubs. Now that I know black and gray tubs exist, that's all I want. I will say I'm not going to replace all my Christmas tubs because they can get pricey and I know what all Christmas is. It's like my biggest holiday. So I like knowing this is all Christmas. And then I really didn't touch fall either, but as far as like, like sentimental items and keepsakes and all that, you're gonna watch me switch over to the black storage tubs. I don't wanna know, don't want you to go and leave me behind. No, I don't wanna see if it isn't me. Who's on your This is also a really good time that you can still declutter, even if you've already decluttered, but if you haven't, open those tubs up, make sure you can't combine like items, make sure it's things you actually wanna keep. Um, if you don't need it, if you're not gonna use it, let it go, donate it, sell it, do what you have to do. Um, maybe you have two like half empty tubs and you can combine it if it's like items. Just kind of be aware um, that you're not just like storing things to store them. 
up my phone I stared at your face But it's not your tone Saying oh hello, who are you to call me Late in the night She says I just gotta say that it's here with me And not where he might Something I always say when I'm organizing, I don't care if it's in a bathroom, a kitchen, a closet, or even the attic, garage, or basement, if you can display stuff kind of like how you would see them in the store, do it. Then you feel like you're shopping, you can see everything you have. Now I wouldn't put like cloth items that could get dusty and dirty out, but if it's like vases and you know stuff that you can just dust off and bring in, it's really smart to leave it where you can visually see it, otherwise you're just gonna forget you have it. Okay guys, we are not done, but this is looking so good. Like I've wanted this in all my houses, but we just didn't have the space. I didn't have the motivation. Um, we didn't have, I don't know. I didn't get up in the attics of the other houses. They terrified me. The stairs are like a game changer. So over here is like all Christmas. I may be able to do it better, but right now I'm just trying to get everything in and then I'll go back and figure it out. These don't fit on the shelf. So I'm either gonna switch those out or just leave them there. Not sure yet, but my fall. <laughs> so I love, I can just come up here and like shop what I need. Like I can just come up here and be like, okay, I need this, this, and that. I'm probably gonna make that prettier. But everything's just displayed out. Now if it's like a soft material, it's down here. So like my soft squishy pumpkins, I'm not gonna leave out, but these I can just like dust off. I've got lanterns. I've got tons of these for when I decorate my porch. When I ordered them, I didn't realize it came as like, I think it was like a set of four. I thought you got a set of two, so I basically over ordered. So I have more orange ones in there, the white. These are like all the containers I put them in. There's Mr. Pumpkin Head. Like I said, I'm gonna get um, an organizer for the fall greenery. I have this one for Christmas. It's just all my winter greenery still up in my house because I haven't decorated for spring yet. But I'm gonna get one next time I'm out for fall. And then this is Mr. Pum or Pumpkin Man's body and clothes. Um, that was. What is that? I forget what's in that one. I think it's fall though. But now we're getting into like keepsakes. So this whole shelf is Savannah. So if you guys think I don't keep stuff for Savannah, I do. This is all um, her keepsakes right here. And we haven't even got into like her homeschool <laughs> and dance gear. But basically like all her textbook stuff I keep just in case the laws change here in Oklahoma. I wanna know she doesn't have to like go back to kindergarten when she's like 23. So one day once she grows up and gets a job and we know we're good to go, I'll toss all that, but I keep that just as extra. But we keep one bin just for like when she was little and did like, you know, like art and all of that, kind of like kids school work. I let her go through it one day. She is not like, what do you call it? Sentimental at all. So she kept one top's worth and even that she told me to toss, which I refused to. But then I have like all her keepsake shirts, um, you know, just stuff like that. Loveys, animals, it's all within here. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. I think Chase thought we overbought originally when I was like, I need, what did we buy, six of these? And I was like, I think we're gonna need eight. And he was like, I think you're crazy. But now I think we're gonna need <laughs> So There's just so much up here, but it's, it's looking so good. So just so you can see all the way around me, just because one area is looking pretty does not mean the area behind us is looking pretty as well. So you just kind of have to stay focused, do that tunnel vision, 
work on one area and then if you need to work on the other area another day or time you can take a break um, but don't get overwhelmed and just remember it always gets worse before it gets better I really feel like this is one of those chores or tasks that seems very overwhelming. You don't even wanna get it started because you know it's gonna be a lot of work. But once you get going, it's not bad. I feel like once you're knee deep into it, it's like, okay, you get the motivation, you see that things are looking better. And so you get that motivation just to keep pushing through. So just keep that in mind. Um, we still have to do Chase's building at some point. So I know that feeling like I don't wanna go tackle tools and paint and just all of that stuff. I feel like when you're in like garages and attics and all that, it's just not fun things. It's fun to like organize your clothes and your purses and maybe cleaning products. But these items just aren't that fun. But once you get done, you just feel so much better. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things you took. I cannot even tell you how many costumes we already own and how many we're gonna own by the time Savannah graduates. <laughs> Um, you know, when she started off, it was just like two classes a year, not that bad. We maybe have had like four costumes an entire year. Um, now <laughs> she does about 13 to 15 classes. And so between recital and comps, I just feel like we have so many and they're just growing, but costumes are so hard to get rid of. Um, if it's something she loves, I keep it for now. I'll figure it out later. But if it's something like she has no attachment to, she didn't like it, I will let it go. But when they have like a memory attached to them, I even get like, I'm not a huge sentimental person, but I'm not ready to let it go. So we're gonna put it in tubs and we're gonna deal with it another time. All you seem to do is lie. Those days are gone. I'm walking tall while you're I told myself I was gonna come like sweep this area out before we moved into the house. We had a lot of workers up here. They would bring like our extra supplies up here. I ever noticed like some of them would come up here for like lunch breaks and stuff just to get a break. So I really should have swept it before, but I didn't. And so when I was sweeping it now, I was shocked how much was on the floor. I should have done it a long time ago, but I'm just glad it's done now. Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own It is looking so good up here. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna keep this tree or not. I haven't used it the last couple years, but it's one of those trees we found like at a garage sale for a dollar. So if I need to like put it outside or anything like that, so I might hang on to it one more year. But these shelves are so helpful. And like now when I need something out of this tub or this tub, I don't have to take off all the tubs above it. That's what's super nice is they're not like stacked on top of each other like breaking and I can also just get out what I need so I'm gonna come through and label these at some point hopefully during this video but then I have like all my planters across the top 
um, just all the decor. So as I need it, I can come and grab it. I am gonna get like a long bin for my flowers over there next time I'm out. I went ahead and shoved these down and put like, these are like lanterns I use for the holidays. These tubs won't fit, haven't fully decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. Um, and then like all of these. We put all of our trees back there. Chase has hung already. Those were already hung. Um, like all of our wreaths were hung. So like when you come up, it's like looking really good. I'm fighting the itch not to switch all my Christmas stuff to black bins. I have them, maybe not enough. I'd have to order a few more, but it is just nice knowing that's all Christmas. You can kind of tell it's like Christmas, fall, and then this is more like keepsake stuff right there. Now we have to work on this side. So it looks like the video is done, but it's not. I guess we still have this side. So I'm gonna go get a few more shelves so we can put like um, extra decor and stuff on this side. So stuff that's over here already, like I've been cramming stuff over here, like all of our suitcases could go on a shelf and like our air mattresses. I've got to still go through the frames. This could just sit next to it. Um, but I also have like, a dish set my white ones I don't want to get rid of yet so I could switch all that over to black and basically get this side organized and that way it's just hiding all of the extra supplies until we're comfortable getting rid of it um, so basically we've got to work on this whole side which should clear out that area for the most part but if I could get this side and that <laughs> to look like that we're gonna be good to go I'm also fighting the urge to buy a runner for right there. I feel like I need one. I think next time I get one for my kitchen, like my kitchen one's getting so worn out, I need a fresh one. I'll probably put it up here just, just to feel a little fancy sometimes. <laughs> I love these white dishes. I've currently switched to black, which I love as well, but I feel like I get the itch to switch sometimes and I may want to have white again one day. And so I'm just not going to let these go. That's why we have an attic. I'm going to stick them up here. Chances are by the time I want white dishes, I'm probably going to buy a new style and then I can donate these then. But just in case something changes quickly, I just love this full set. So that's why I'm hanging on to it and just putting it into tubs for now. Okay, quick update. I've basically got this area cleared out. I like having this here because I can just run up here and grab extra hangers or if there's like overflow, like seasonal stuff, I'll just throw here and get it up and down. So I think I'm gonna leave all that there. Um, you guys saw all that. I ended up moving the Christmas tree just back here so I didn't have to like look at it and it fits just fine on those storage tubs. These I'm gonna leave here for now, but they'll be full probably by the time we're done. And then I've slowly been working on these tubs, getting them organized. So then when the shelves come in for this side, we're good to go. So I'm hoping a lot of this we can make look nicer just with shelves going across. So we will see, but we're gonna have to pick them up. So I'll meet you guys back here just in a jiffy. Okay, it's later. We went and got two more shelves, no, three more. So I'm hoping we can get it looking like this side. But now we have to tackle <laughs> this side. I really wanted to be able to put three shelves over here, but it wasn't gonna work with like the angle of the roof. Like the bottom would fit, but not the top, if that makes sense. And Chase was like, we could do like an L shape with them and attach them. And I was like, no, I like straight lines. I like blocking it. But these shelves really hold so much. Like I didn't end up needing three over here anyway. So it worked out nice. And I love that it's gonna hide all that extra product behind it that we don't need right now. It's just one of those just in case something happens, we have it. Um, so it ended up working out, but I did originally want three, but the two worked out just fine.
I'm gonna show you like final looks of this, but just this angle right here, to me, this is just like goals for your attic. It's not like perfect, it's not Pinterest, but it's organized. Um, I can grab things that I need on particular shelves. I don't have to like take two other tubs off the top. I can see like my fall decor. To me, this is goals and just makes me so happy. Like all I do is walk up in my attic now just to go see what it looks like. Let's do a little walkthrough so you guys can see everything we did. So I was actually able to clear this whole area out, which is kind of nice. I liked stuff being here, but now that it's cleared out, it's just so open. And then we kind of moved around the wreaths and pulled them down. We pushed back all of my Christmas trees back there, which opened up so much space. You guys can tell it's like dark out there now, but here are all the like organizers and shelving. I will say this one has three lined up and this one has four, but I just tried to line them up. And then back there in that corner, I'll just take it back here. It's those extra Christmas tubs and then lanterns for like the holidays and then that extra tree. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay, but I wanna give it one more year to decide. And then over here is all my fall decor. So I can just like come up here and grab whatever I need when I'm decorating. Obviously some of the stuff like those, it doesn't have to be fall. That's kind of why I put them there towards the end. And then these two end caps are kind of like keepsakes, um, stuff for like Chase and myself, Savannah, all of that. This one's like 4th of July stuff. So it's a lot of holiday, but keepsake as well. And down here was the best thing I did because we have so much hidden behind those two shelves. So to your eye, it looks very aesthetic and pleasing. Behind it is a hot mess, but it's stuff we just can't get rid of yet. Um, eventually on down the line we will, but I wasn't ready yet. Like I said, we haven't even been here a year. So like extra tile and flooring, paints, grouts, I mean, everything is back there. So now you don't see it though. So now we have like our blow up air mattresses. This is my white set of dishes. I had it in one and it was just too heavy. So I put it into two. So it's still really heavy, but it's not as heavy now. And then I have the black tubs with stuff. This is like our travel suitcases. So we don't need those all the time, but then they're up here when we do. Basically this whole side is nothing but Christmas when you look at it, but it's so nice that it's tucked away. And then over here on this side is my rolling cart, which I like to use pretty often for deliveries. Like when we're having a lot of deliveries, I put food and different things on it. It's really nice when we're hosting and we're out by the pool. And then my clear clothing stand, which I use that often for like reels and stuff. It's just so nice. I can like easily get to it. But isn't this crazy that this is like this is an attic guys like, to me this is a dream attic like it's never gonna look like my downstairs like with a drywall and white paint and all of that but this is all I could ask for um I do want to do some labels so if I have time to do that before I have to start editing this video I'll show it to you guys I've just got to pick some up I'll probably just hand do them it's not going to be anything super fancy up here but that way I just know what's in them since I did all black and then like these are extra so I allowed room for overflow and that's what you have to allow because occasionally I'm going to get something up here and I pretty much have this whole shelf like these are extra I could throw these on the ground those are just extra mirrors so basically that's just like our overflow shelf for when we need it eventually but I am so happy with how this space turned out okay since you guys made it to the end I'm gonna sneak around here and show you the hot mess of everything that's back there but like I said it's extra paints flooring tiles this is all like there are so many of these huge um buckets full of um stone from our fireplace and i just want to know if one falls off or something we have it so all of that is nice and tucked away and you don't even notice it because of this i do need to come up here with a rag one day all this stuff is so dusty i think it was just shipped that way from like their warehouse um but i'll definitely wipe those down before i put labels on everything 
Okay, so here's one last view of the attic and then one last view of our garage. It's just how everything turned out. I am so pleased with it. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope this gave you some motivation to work on a space in your home. Even if it's not your garage or your attic, hopefully it's just like a closet or something that needs to be tackled. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.